This is probably the best anti-Beto Keep Texas Red tweet I've ever seen. Check this out. From Swervista. By the way, thanks for tuning into Mixed Texan Politics. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. All right, let's get going here. From Swervista on October 30th. Just voted to keep Texas red. Blank. F all the weird. Finna go smoke a bitch ass Beto blunt. Then somebody responded back to him saying, F all that Beto. You know what? Fill in the blank. F Beto work. <laughs> this is funny because it's good to see. Uh, see, not, black people vote 90% Democrat. Just based on the numbers of previous elections, it's about 90%. And it's good to see this guy here with some common sense. I love seeing, because I'm half black, and, and I love seeing other black people, Latinos, because I'm half black, half Latino. So I love seeing have other black people, or other Latinos or Latinas with common sense. And that vote Republican and don't just vote Democrat because that's what they've been told their entire life. So it was comforting. It was actually quite funny to see this tweet. Because this guy just has some common sense. He wants to keep Texas red. He says, forget all that weird Beto stuff. I'm voting for Greg Abbott. <laughs> the weird stuff, it, it, it's obvious with the jumping jack flap, jumping around, flaring his arms around, and you know, ride, you know, riding on skateboards. In want to take your guns away. He's just a weird guy, a strange guy. He looks funny. Um, he has bad policies. The people that support him look like weirdos. So he says, forget all that weird stuff. Let's keep Texas red. By the way, what would be inside of a Beto Blunt if there is such a thing? He says he's going to smoke a Beto Blunt. Um, would it be some fairy dust, some snowflakes in it, some oil for that he uses on his skateboard? What would be inside of a Beto Blunt? Tell me in the comments below. All right. This guy has been missing in action since November 10th, uh, shortly after he got smashed in the election. I go to his Twitter page every so often to see if he's uh, reappeared anywhere, but he's been MIA. For almost a month now, it's November, it's December 6th. His last tweet says, Honor of my lifetime to run this race with you. Good came from this and will continue to come from this. What good has come from, I'm, I'm curious, what good has come from that race? Um, was it the millions of dollars he raked in? Was it the money from George Soros? I mean, I would say good for him is that he doesn't hate continues not to have to work. His wife is rich. He gets all his money from campaign donations, his campaign money. This guy doesn't have to work for the rest of his life. We are in this fight for life. Not sure the path or the role, but I know the way is forward. I will see you all out there. What is his next move? I'm, I'm curious. So I'm going to troll this guy again. Where have you been, loser? <laughs> All right. He's not going to respond back, but it's funny to troll this guy. Because I tweeted on his page about two weeks ago, and this guy still has been, he disappeared off the face of the earth. I haven't heard anything about him. I haven't seen him anywhere. I mean, he was in everybody's face. He was tweeting every single day. Look at him. A bunch of, around, all these, around all these weirdos. I know a lot of his supporters look uh, like just creepy, weird people. But anyway, yeah, where, where has this guy been? Anyway, uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty funny. This guy just dropped off the face of the earth. Will he run for office again? And what office will he run for? I think he should move to California. I think he'll have a much better chance out there with all the other weirdos. All right? <laughs> all right, guys. 
Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care.